In June 2019, I found myself between smiling children in the Gambia. This is part of my adventure to cycle around the world. In this video, I'll show you my experiences in Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea and Sierra Leone. Last time, I made it through the Sahara in Morocco and Mauritania and I entered a different climate in Senegal. I finished in the Gambia and from there on I had to cross Senegal again. And that's where I start now. Before I start, I want to tell you that I'm still experimenting with my videos. In this video you will see less vlogs and more drone footage. This has a few reasons. Here in Africa it's not common to find electricity all the time. Charging my equipment has thus become a serious challenge. For vlogging I use only 5-10% of the footage I shoot. While with the drone, this percentage lays between 20 to 40 percent. Besides, West Africa is one of the poorest parts in the entire world. A quick research on Wikipedia about the gross domestic product per capita, also known as the average income per person, shows that three of the four countries I pass in this video are at the bottom 22 out of 192 countries. Putting expensive cameras in their faces leaves both me and them uncomfortable. Well, I think that's enough background information for now, so let's move on to Senegal. It has been more than two months since I experienced rain, but I was about to face the rain season. The first night back in Senegal, I got surprised by bright flashes, heavy thunder and a cloudburst. From that moment, everything became different. Sleeping in the wild became more difficult, just like keeping my clothes and electronical devices dry. While I could only hope for the best when I entered mud roads. And all this trouble was worth it, because the dry and brown landscape now turned into a divine green surrounding. <laughs> This uh, morning I got my visa for Guinea-Bissau which uh, was really really easy I got it in five minutes or so it was no problem at all um, so yeah today I'm gonna cross the border to Guinea-Bissau right now it's raining also but it's not that bad So I made it to Guinea-Bissau, it was a really easy border crossing. Um, first impression, it's really green, really nice. Second impression, I cannot get off this main road because uh, they say there are a lot of landmines. That's not really nice because I want to have something to eat normally just beside the road. That's not gonna work uh, right here. That's right, landmines. Senegalese rebellions fought against the Senegal army and were stationed in Guinea-Bissau. But that's in the past now. What's also in the past is the Carnation Revolution in Portugal. This event made Guinea-Bissau independent from Portugal since 1974. Political instability ruled over the years that followed, including mass murders, a civil war, an assassinated president and several coups.
All these events didn't improve the lives of about 2 million people. However, the locals were incredibly hospitable to me. And for the first time in this trip I cried. I cried because they helped me out, while I couldn't help them out. They were so incredibly poor. And even though they often smile, their situation is miserable. Their low income was notable in the daily life. Entire districts were not connected to the power network. Most shops offered the same cheap food such as canned sardines, rice, bread and cookies. The clothes they wear are often full with gaps. Everyone walks on flip-flops and most transport is done by foot. When there is a car, it is used to transport as much as possible. People, bags of rice, plastic chairs and animals. It was definitely the most difficult time for me so far. But I also realized that I was able to move on, to leave, while they are not. They don't have a choice like I do. And it makes me realize that I should appreciate what I have.
Okay. This is gonna be interesting. So there is a sign. I think that's the border because on my map I see that I'm on the border now but there is no border control I read that there is a border control a few kilometers after this point so that was the route to the border the route uh, continues like this I just uh, came across uh, someone who was dressed in army clothes I'm not sure if he was an official border uh, man but he uh, asked for money but uh, I didn't give him anything uh, he didn't seem to be aggressive or something he didn't have a gun so uh, I just got away but it was a little bit uh, strange for the first time I had to cross puddles of which I couldn't see how deep they were or what was hidden in them. The track was more challenging, especially because of the rain.
Yes, training really hard. Uh, Rains for the whole day already. But now there is thunder and it's pretty close. So I really had to uh, find some uh, shelter. There was no real shelter in the neighborhood. So uh, I found this tree. My bike is over there. But damn, it rains pretty hard. I'm soaked from the top to the bottom. I hope my uh, stuff is still okay. Luckily, I was able to find places to camp under a roof all the time. Because mostly it rained during the nights. Here we go on this roller coaster life we know with those crazy highs and real deep lows. I really don't know why, and I will go to the farthest place on earth I know. I can't travel all the roads you see Cause I know you're there with me Sierra Leone has been an English colony for a long time. Back in 1792, the capital became the new home of former slaves and is thus called Freetown. The country became independent in 1961 and like the previous countries, political instability ruled the country for almost 50 years. A brutal civil war at top, which ended in 2002. Ever since, the country is stable and getting better day by day. But they still belong to the 4% poorest countries in the world.
After spending a few days in Freetown, I took an off-road route which appeared to be an old railway road. The railway was removed already, but the condition of the track was amazing. The slight slopes, the amazing jungle surrounding, and some old wooden bridges remained, except for one river crossing, which I had to do by kayak. <laughs> I was able to spend my nights in primary schools along the way. The locals who allowed me to do so were incredibly friendly people and even offered me food and showers. They proved to me that being poor doesn't mean you're afraid to share what you have. In fact, I believe that the more you have, the more you're afraid to lose it. Come down, come down, sweet reverence Until my simple house and rain And rain Strawberry up on a table Well, I drank and sang and passed on the stage Tall grass grows high and brown Well, I drag you straight in the muddy ground And you send me back to where I roam Well, I cursed and I cried, but now I know Oh, now I know Just 
Just I sliver back then And I ached for my heart like some tin man When it came on a beat and it boiled and it rang Oh, it's ringing